Welcome back, MTG Joe here. We're on the eve of the early streamer event, which will be taking part uh, on Wednesday, uh, uh, April. Losing track of time with all this uh, self-isolation. Uh, Wednesday, April 15th, I'll be participating in the event thanks to Wizards. Uh, so I get access to all the Aquaria cards before the general public, get to jam some games, and I've been brewing a bunch of decks. Put together over 20 decks on Aether Hub, so you can check those out. Won't have a time to do a deck tech for each of them. Um, but we'll try at some point or another on the channel to feature them. Um, so the format is best of one. I'll be streaming from about 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow uh, and then play throughout the day. So if you can, stop by on Twitch. Otherwise, everything will be uploaded to my YouTube channel afterwards. Um, so basically, I've just been taking brews, to get, uh, like taking some of the cool cards from the set, putting together brews, and um, kind of putting together mock-ups, stuff I want to play, stuff I want to see out of the new set. Um, so keep in mind, these aren't final drafts, they're untested brews. I want to kind of play around ideas, elicit feedback. If there's anything you'd like to see as well, do let me know. Um, so this one here is a, I call a big white devotion. Um, so we've seen kind of the life gain devotions, a little bit more in historic where they printed the soul warden and Sarah ascendant to kind of build out that package. Um, but basically it's kind of like a life gain mid-range control, uh, life gain aggro mid-range brew i don't know how to really phrase it but um got some cool cards to add in here so we're playing a little bit bigger than the traditional list you still have your like all seeds for uh protection and lifelink your healer hawks trying to make really big ajani pride mates with and then you have linden and daxos that gain you life as well and then you have heliod uh where's heliod hiding uh heliod to kind of piece together your team and put counters on everything, make it really big. Uh, I usually like playing a one of Shadow Sphere in the lists. Um, what usually happens is you get this like 2020 uh, Pride Mate and it's getting chumped by Cat Omen and you can't push through that damage. Uh, so this is an easy way to gain you life as well as give your things trample. So it allows you to kind of get evasion in that case there. Um, the kind of additions that we're trying out, we so we have Luros of the Dream Den. Uh, so we're not playing this as companion, so we're not bound by its restriction. Playing two of them in the deck. A lot of my brews that I've been playing with, I've actually used Luros in the deck uh, as opposed to as a companion. I think it's a good kind of support mechanic for grindier matchups where things will be dying or you want to get back creatures that would be die uh, killed. Usually what happens in these decks is you play out a pride mate and your opponent tries to kill it as quick as possible before things get out of control. Uh, so Luros lets you basically recast something each turn there's also the cool interaction where you can sacrifice your all seed each turn give something pseudo unblockable by through protection and then cast it again with luros and then basically recycle this protection effect so it's like a reoccurring god's willing that can happen each turn um, we're still playing a couple of johnnies we're still playing the arcanist owls the arcanist owls can hit your all seeds it can hit daxos it can hit heliod uh, it can hit elspeth conquers death as well uh, so it's kind of a good card en uh, advantage engine in white, which traditionally you don't get in these types of colors. Uh, also a couple Conclave Tribunals is removal. You can tap your stuff, exile that way. Uh, the card that I think is most impactful to this archetype is Luminous Broodmother. So again, I really, really like this card. It is in pretty much all my white-based creature decks. Uh, Abzan, Mardu, Black White. Um, the biggest issue I found with Mono White Devotion is you make this huge board, and then your opponent sh uh, shatters the skies you, and then you have no gas. Um, white is not really known for card advantage, uh, so this is a good way to get around that. Uh, your opponent can kill your board, but then you just get it all back with flying, so then it's even more harder to deal with. So they can kill your pride mate, but then it comes back, likely triggers some sort of lifelink, or just way to gain life, and now you have a big flying cat. Um, so we're playing three bro uh, brood mothers, brood moths, yeah, I keep saying brood mothers. I am going to screw up so many card names the first day. Um, and then the mana base wise, because we're a little bit bigger on ter in terms of the curve, uh, going up to five for Elspeth Conquer's Death, we're playing 24 lands. Uh, and then we're playing the full set of four castles. You could play something like Field of Ruin in the deck if there's enough uh, creature la like um, ability lands that you want to take out. But I think just being consistent when you have stuff that's three white symbols... Uh, and four white symbols, you just want to be able to uh, cast your cards perfectly without worrying about mana considerations. 
Uh, so that's pretty much the list. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I, I, I did post a bunch of lists. I'll be posting consistently to my Instagram as well. Did a poll today to see what people like to see. Um, so if this is something you would like to see tomorrow, do drop some comments and say that this is the one you want. Um, and if there's anything else bef between now and then, any cool brews, anything like that, again, we might not get to it tomorrow, but always playing a bunch of, pretty much every stream is a different deck, uh, unless I'm practicing for a tournament. So you can always feature cool, unique ideas on the channel. Um, again, if you can swing by tomorrow, that'd be awesome. Uh, on Twitch, we're again, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and then we'll be going from there and uh, everything will be on YouTube. If you do enjoy my content, if you can drop a subscribe on YouTube, it is free and it does help out the channel quite a bit. So if you can do that, that'd be great. Otherwise, stay safe out there and happy Ikoria.